Hey, how are you? This is your first stream you've ever been to? Wait, what's wrong? Oh, there's no music. Hold on. There, I got you. I got you. I got you. Sorry. <laughs> what's up? How are you? Good to see you. The music is too quiet. I got it. I got you. I got you. I got you. New that way, this new person in the community? Hey, what's happening? Ah, welcome. Gonna be a very short stream today. Very, very busy. We're gonna do, we're gonna hang out. We'll talk about the chess boxing event. That was crazy. That was a lot of fun. I want to talk about the Christmas stream coming up this weekend. That's gonna be a lot of fun too. It's not gonna be 15 minutes. No, I don't know, like maybe like an hour? A couple hours, whatever. Maybe like an hour and a half. I don't know. But yeah. I want I, I was trying to figure out an opportunity to be live because of all this stuff going on. So like I got there's a point right now where I could be live and just chill for an hour or two. Have I taken a shower? Yes. Yes. I did take a shower. Did you? I have something very important to go over. It's it's how we're gonna open this. I've seen, I've seen some fake information on the internet about how I take photos, and I'm gonna prove to everybody today exactly what because I've seen it and it's making me a little irritated. You will go over it. I it's gonna be fine, and I'll find I'll be able to prove to everybody. That no, I in fact am not standing on my tippy toes in every photo to make sure that I'm 5'9 standing next to somebody that's 5'10. That is not what is happening. And I keep seeing it. I keep seeing people go into the background and go to where my feet are and they zoom in and they sharpen it and they sharpen it and they go, look at his foot, look at his foot's off the ground. And I'm like, hey, that's not what's happening. And I'm going to prove it today. I want, I, I have to prove this because I, I was going to like say something. I was I was like, what the hell would he, what's he talking about? I was going to write, no, just a, a tweet. I don't tweet ever, right? And imagine getting a tweet that's just me with no context. No, I don't stand on my tippy toes in photos. Stop saying that about me. It's just like, that's kind of weird. Uh, post like a really fun event. It would be very strange to say. Uh, I just didn't. But yeah, I, it's funny. I get it, but I'm going to prove everybody today and you need to see this because there's no chance I'm going to let that continue to stand. He doesn't have feet. Yes, I do. We're gonna, I'll prove it. But I want to wait. I want to wait till people get here because it's, uh, I want to wait till people trickle in. How come there's no comb today? Guys, I, I, I lost it. I don't know. I, I don't know where it is. For free. We're gonna get a feed cam? I mean, kind of. I guess. It's, I mean, it's the focus of the first few minutes of the stream are gonna be me, how I stand in a photo, so I guess technically. Technically, I guess. You ate the comb. Finally. <laughs> what the fuck? He's looking sus today. I'm not even on camera. Uh, Skyrim, bro, play it already. I don't have time to play Skyrim today. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not playing Skyrim. Get on cam right now. I'm. I'm just wait. It's the intro. Okay. How? Five minutes. What is the percentage of five minutes to an hour? 60 minutes. What's five minutes of 60 minutes? What percentage is that? How much percentage is that? Five percent? Six percent. So six percent of this whole stream is already over. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's actually kind of sad to think like that. Uh, that's a glass half empty mentality. I don't like that. 8.3% of the stream is already over. What the hell? 
Show us the feet already, then. <laughs> all right, 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 all right. Before we go over anything, obviously I got, I've got, a, look, I've got a big event to hype. I got a big event to hype this weekend. Stop wasting percentages. Okay, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's time. You guys ready? It's gonna be jarring to a lot of people because they're not used to seeing me like in a big, like full cam like this. And yeah, oh, he looks weird today. I don't care. What happened? Why does it look like you said computer generated? It's because I am. All right, fine. Whatever. How you guys doing? Are you ready for me to prove this? I'm gonna go put like fucking shoes on. No, I don't even care. All right, here we go. There are there are photos circulating of me standing. Uh, I, I took a lot of photos. First of all, I took a lot of pictures at the chess boxing event, which was an unbelievable event. That was a ton of fun. I've never done something like that. But there's a dick on the. What? <laughs> Why? This is do I have... What the fuck? <laughs> Hold on a second. Where is it coming? Where's that coming from? I don't. I don't know. I don't know what's even making that. Why is that there? I. What's? I don't. I have no idea what could be doing that. Anyways, I'm, let's go for it. Here we go. You ready? I'm gonna prove. Look. Let me explain what's going on first. I got dog hair all over me. All right. Here we go. I gotta do this because you're not gonna be able to see me standing. All right, so there's a lot of people that say he goes on his tippy toes. Look, just watch. Watch what he does. All those people are going to all have a fit at the same time. You ready? Watch this. So I'm still... Oh, hold on, you can't see my head. I have to get the whole thing because there's no way. People are going to fucking clip it. They're going to, like, shrink me and... Uh, hold on. We're not doing anything else today until I do this. It's actually very important. Okay, so here we go. Wet, can you hear me? When I take photos, right? I stand, you know, sometimes you stand like this sometimes, like a hey, photo. Sometimes you go like this. I took probably 200 photos with a crew and, and, and fans and, and what if people came, the people that were at the event, it was awesome. It was like one of the best experiences I've ever had in my whole life. So anyways, some of these photos, they, they show my feet and people go, oh, bro, bro, LOL, because my foot is like this. Are you ready for this? So I pose. I pose when I take photos. Like this, you know, like, okay, here we go. Let's let's go ahead and see what happens. Let's pose. Hey, I'm posing right now. Let's put it down. Nothing changed! It's just my knee coming out. It's just like, all right, let's go for it. And people are saying it's me going like this. I, it's, no, it's not. It's this. Or this. Like sometimes it's back here. I, I didn't just grow in size, did I? I'm leaning on my left leg. Look. Nothing changed. I've been the exact same height. Ready? If you, oh, bro! There you go. Get this dick out of my room! How do I get rid of it? I don't know what's causing it. I'm not touching it. I'm not gonna touch it. Hold on. Wait, I'm getting in front of it. What is it? Okay. I'm blocking whatever it is right now. What is it? Tell me if it changes. Is it changing? This, I, I don't, this.
I... I don't know why that's there. I... Whatever. Okay, hi. Dude, I have to get rid of people who's gonna... <sighs> that's so fucking stupid. What if... Hold on, let me refresh the cam. No. It's just there. It's probably all right. It's gonna change over time. Look, it's already moved. This is actually insane. It's 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 like shape shifting. It's gonna. It's just gonna go. It's just gonna go. All right. Anyways, so the chess boxing event was awesome, right? I, I I have never gone into a ring and done anything like that before. And I have to say, being in front of a huge audience, a huge crowd, I, it, it was like electric. It was so electric, in fact, that in the intro, I got shown a lot of pictures. There's a point in the intro where my hair is standing up like I'm being electrocuted. I, I gotta find a photo and put up here. My hair was standing up as if I was touching one of those, um, one of those, uh, electric kind of science balls. I have no idea why, because it didn't happen, uh, during the rest of the event. There was so much that, I think it was just the arena was just so electric, and maybe, I don't know, maybe there was, there was some static in the air, but it was, it was embarrassing. Because every major photo that I keep seeing from this is... That intro where I'm pointing into the crowd and my hair is like crazy looking. Is the dry air? I don't know. You look like you you look like you grocery shop at 6 a.m. Uh dude, I don't I don't I haven't woken up at 6 a.m. since I was probably like fucking 10 years old. Yeah, I, I, you think I get up that early to go grocery shopping? You think you think I've woken up at six a.m. at any point in the last fifteen years? No. Well, now you, it's no longer it's no longer a penis now. Now it's a just a series of three balls. Somebody said, "Is is it cold in there?" Six AM comb stream. All right, but no, no, no. Okay, all right, all right. Let's get on track. Let's get on track. So, a couple important things to note. One, the <laughs> there it is. All right, I have to show this. Hold on, wait. I'm gonna go away for a second. I just need to make sure this is I have this in the right spot. Okay, so <laughs> hold on. I'm just gonna call it this. That's fine. Okay, hold on. I don't use computers. And there we go. Okay, can you see it? No, you can't. But you can in a, you will in a second. All right, so take a look. That's, um... This, that's kind of insane. But it's weird because... This didn't, it wasn't like that for the rest of the night. You look like a mad scientist. Yeah, I don't know why it was happening, but it was funny nonetheless. It's in all the professional photos. It's in all the, uh, it's every, all the pro photos, the professional photography that was taken. It looks way worse because it's so high definition. It's so HD. But anyways, yeah, that's that. Uh, I've never done that before. It was really fun. But uh, we have to make, wait, let's, let's move on because we're, we are, what's 15 minutes out of an hour? What is it? 15 minutes out of an hour is how, what percentage? 25% of this stream is over already. And all that happened was a, a, a dick was on the wall. But I mean, that's actually kind of, 
that's a kind of a major event, wouldn't you say? That's kind of a, that's a major event. All right, whatever. That's weird, but we gotta. All right. Anyways, so the hall the the holiday. I said how the holiday show is this weekend. What you're going to want to do if you haven't, I haven't, because I haven't been live. The poll, you have only a couple days left to vote on the poll. If you haven't, do it. You have only a few days. It's a huge poll. It's going to take you like all day. Somebody said there are too many nominees, too many options. There were so many. You guys have no idea. The mods got it first. All the nominees. They brought it down on a first pass. There were thousands of uh, thousands of, of nominations. When it went down for the first mod pass, me and Holly took a look at it. Okay, we got to narrow some more of this stuff down. This is way too much. You are seeing three passes of removing nominees from that list. And it's still that much. There were 50 nominees in every category. It was crazy. It took me one and a half hours to go through it. You can skip questions, by the way. If you don't care about what the worst cat puke was, which that is, I think, probably the most skipped question on the whole poll, which is understandable. Uh, you don't have to. You can just do the ones that you want to do. If, like, worst joke of the year, you're just like, nah, I don't need to vote for that. Like, I mean, they were all, like, pretty good. So just skip that one if you want to. You, that one, should, we should skip, be skipping it. And then go to the best stuff, right? This worst face, worst joke, worst impression. You need to skip those. You don't need to do them. You can just do the, the best ones. Those are the ones that are, are the better ones, right? Yeah. I almost just puked on my own spit. Oh, it's a panel, right. Below here, there's a panel that has that link. If you don't feel like clicking on the link that showed up in the chat a thousand times. Down here, there's a chat panel. New cat puke? You can't vote for it because it's in the gray period. It's in the gray area. You can't do it. Dude, I, I, wait, what did you say? Hold on. Remember, you look like the yellow M&M today. Yeah, I kind of do. What are you talking about? What? Why did you know that? Why are you talking about that? Hold on a sec. Let's freak some people out that just show up with the stream randomly. Hold on. Oh, the yellow M&M looks like he's trying to go on his tippy toes, isn't he? With this picture. No, it's called a pose, actually. What's going on down here? Why are you doing that? Oh, it's called a pose. Give me a break. I don't look anything like this guy. You have the same hair? That's not hair, those are eyebrows. That's a new wait, you think this is his hair? That's not his hair. Those are eyebrows. That's actually kind of funny, because now I'm going to see that as his hair forever. <laughs> Do 
You have the same eyebrows? Do I? Yo, I don't have the same visor. Hey, uh, hey, uh, Red Eminem. I think I, uh, oh, uh, no, Santa exists? No, he doesn't. No way. Is that close? Guys, I think they sell this hat. I could probably, they probably sell this. Bernie Sanders? No, that's... Hey, uh, hey, hey, um... I think that, uh, I'll wear M&M's. It's like that. Yeah. He does exist! I do exist. Oh, I was doing Santa from that commercial. Hey, oh, yeah. Uh, whoops. My bad. All right. Anyways, well, let's try the other way. <laughs> I think this is actually closer. This is not oh. That's not right. No, I'm trying to just get it to be there you get the idea, who cares? Alright, anyways, what were we just talking about? Oops. <laughs> Alright, what were we talking about? He's got a green, he's a green, green mouth. All right. So, yeah, there's nothing on the wall anymore. We can move on. That just, we, that derailed 25% of the whole stream, by the way. Just in case you were wondering. So, if you want to vote, the vote is open still. It's a big poll. You don't have to vote on every single question if you don't want to. But if it's there, if you want, we're tallying it soon. It's going to be a really fun show. A lot of stuff planned for that show. That is the 17th, starting at 4 p.m. Pacific time. You are going to see, I'm going to tweet about it. There's going to be a big tweet. It's going to be tons of fun. I really hope that you show up there because it's going to be a great time. Do you have Twizzler hair? Do you do all your clothes shopping at the kids section at Target? No. Um, I actually do all my clothes shopping uh, eight or nine years ago and have never updated my wardrobe because it still fits. Should I be ashamed about that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Back when I was 25, 24. Oh, my clothes still fit. And I still feel just as... I fill out the clothes just like I did when I was in my mid-20s. Oh, no. Look at that. That's pretty sustainable. I just, is this one backwards? No. Um, no, I, I just, I, I, I can't buy new clothes. I always forget everything about my, my body shape. Anytime you go get real clothes, you have to know stuff like, what's the, uh, the, the diameter of your diaphragm? And like, you know, you, what's the, how long around your neck is it? Yeah, how many inches? Well, you know, it's a, it's th I have a 30, uh, 38 uh, uh, R slash, you know, uh, slim fit. It's too much to know. I don't care. I just, if it says M on it, I buy it. How long are these pants, by the way? Oh, I, you see, I'm a 30. Uh, 30 ways, 32 waist, and I have like a 30, uh, 31 uh, No, it's too much. I don't care. Just give me a medium. Just give me a medium. And I like pants that like, you can just go like, stretch, you know what I mean? Surprised it's not extra small. I'm not, I'm... 
Do you, are you serious? Do I have to stand up again? Is this extra small? That's extra small. That's extra small. You know what I mean? I, I don't... This arm is not extra small. I could lift... You know, if you if you were like right here, I could lift... I could lift you up. I'm not extra small. I'm just... I'm 5'8". I don't, I, I, can, I fill out a medium shirt, by the way. I fill out a, what's, I'm not going to answer that. No, you could not. Are you telling me that I don't fill out a medium shirt? Well, what is this? Th no, I like this. Don't rip it. Would you consider this not being filled out? I want it. Tell me the truth. I'm directly looking at you. Am I not filling this shirt out? This is a long sleeve shirt. You know, I'm not filling this out nicely. This is a medium. And I got, hey, no, for, no further questions. It looks a bit, it looks a bit tight. Dude, you couldn't lift the TV. That TV was 200 pounds, dude. We weighed it on stream. Do you not remember that? Or were you not here for it? We weighed that TV on stream and it was almost 200 pounds. Anyways. He's very feisty. Because I'm excited. It's going to be a really fun weekend this weekend. I'm looking forward to it. Show us the tag. No. Because if this is small, then I have to backtrack every single thing I said for the last 10 minutes. This is the first comb stream for me. This is the first comb stream. I just found you through the Hassan collab. And, uh, collab. I've been watching you ever since. What's the baseball stream? Oh, well... Uh, you just uh, wait. The last part you made that up. <laughs> What's a comb stream? A comb stream is the. Uh, I used to just comb my hair and sit here for an hour, and that's what it was. Do a fashion brand tier list. Um, no, no, I don't think so. All right, well, actually, I could. Hold on, let me think. No, I couldn't. I would low key like to see that. But what I don't. But what if I don't know? What if I don't know anything about clothes? And that's the thing. Look, I know a lot of people really. People love fashion. They get into uh, clothing, and and that's that's awesome. That's cool. You can really express yourself with all kinds of clothes and different styles and stuff. But I'm 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 a gray sweatshirt, Andy. I just, that's it. Gray sweatshirt, and it doesn't even need to be a name brand. I don't even care what it is. And like running pants or jeans. Just like a standard, like gray sweatshirt, gray shirt, Andy, and jeans. Not, I do like nice jeans, though. A nice pair of jeans is good. I will spend money on jeans. That's Mark Zuckerberg. You're wearing designer brand right now? These are these are Nike pants. Are these is, is Nike designer? Is Nike no Nike's not designer brand, is it? Are they? You have the Brett Favre outfits. Wait, Brett Favre wears gray shirts and jeans. <laughs> yeah, but I mean. But it's, uh, but they're comfortable. They're comfortable. I, I get so sweat. Okay, so that suit, that was a pretty nice suit. I, I got it. I got it. It was a nice suit. It fit pretty well. But I just feel, I just don't. I'd rather just be in a gray shirt and a, and a, a pair of jeans. Play Minesweeper. No, I'm not playing Minesweeper. I'd rather play uh, Picross. Remember, we're at 50% right now. Well, when, when that's not necessarily the case.
the Zuckerberg fit. Is it? No, not really. Is it? Maybe a little. Is that the same suit from the Stream Rewards? Nope, that one's different. Because I wanted to be in a black suit. Because announcer, right? I, I, I don't know. I don't know the announcer fit that well. So that suit was blue. It was like kind of a bright blue uh, suit. You can do the Vampire Survivors DLC. You better believe it. Can you do a wood cutting stream? No, compare your height to the door. I just did it. You know, all these height obsessed handies in, in this chat. Who cares? If you're five, five, six feet, five, seven, five, eight, who cares? It doesn't matter. Everybody gets on there like binoculars. Oh, wait, how tall is he next to that person? It, hey, who cares? Considering you like sorcery so much. Wait, 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 wait. What would you say? Would you ever play the other Steve Jackson games like Warlock of Firetop Mountain? I did. I played Warlock of Firetop Mountain on stream. It was the digital version of it, though. It was pretty good. Elden Ring update. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Can you please change your pinned tweet? Maybe in the, that's my New Year's resolution. My New Year's resolution. That's what it is. Change my pinned tweet. <laughs> Not, oh, I want to, you know, do this this year. I want to I mean, get in, in shape this year. Oh, I'd like to do, uh, I'm going to uh, go to, I'm going to travel Europe this, maybe this year. No. I'm going to change my pinned tweet. What a lazy fucking asshole. What a lazy asshole. Really? I could do it right now. I could, it's right there. I could pick it up and I could change my pinned tweet right now. I'm looking at it. My phone is right there. I'm lo it's right here. I could pick it up and I could change it to anything, but I'm not going to. Try what's your six pack? All right, sure. No, oh, no, we're not doing that. What's the plan today? This is the plan. Christmas stream, holiday stream is coming up. There's going to be a tweet about it. It's going to be a big show. I'm very, very excited for it. 17th. 4 p.m. Pacific, you should be there. Take the wig off. No, I just got it on the right way. It's going to get delayed? What? No, it's not. How's my health been? It's been all right. I don't talk about it anymore because I think it's a downer for the streams. But... It's still there. It's still something I have to deal with. I have to figure out how I'm going to exactly do it. But I don't talk about it anymore because I don't want it to be every... To get real for a second and not like mess around. To, to, to be able to talk about medical issues that I'm having. As long as I'm alright and it's not going to take away from the actual streams and stuff. I don't want to, I'm not going to bring it up every day. Right. And I, I did that for a while. I did. Back, I want to say back in early in mid-2020 into 2021. It was something I talked about every day. And I felt like it was kind of a downer. So I just kind of kept at it. Still keeping at it. It was June 2020, yeah. Give us updates. I will if they if I, if they come up. 
it didn't come off that way. Yeah, I know, but still. I'd rather this channel be more about having a good time and just messing around and having fun than, I don't know, talking about personal shit. But you know, that's the way it is. What do you say? You're going to add more channel point rewards? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I was supposed to add a bunch of channel point stuff. <laughs> what do you got? Let's see. Are there any more winks? No, not anymore. Can you do a VR welding stream? Wait, you mean like get in the in the VR helmet and weld in VR? I mean, VR as is something that just really just destroys me every time. It really does. Do you like your car seat? Uh, you, I, I don't have a car seat. What? Oh, you were saying, do you like your car seat headrest? I thought you were saying, do you like your car seat? And I'm like, you're, you're, you're being kind of a dick. I, I don't even think about that. I don't think about my, uh, whatever. When I'm driving, I don't sit there and go, how does it feel? I don't, I think it's, it's fine. That's a band. Oh, it's a band. Oh, <laughs> please, Jerbo. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. That went all over the place. First, I thought you were making fun of me. Then I thought you actually wanted to ask a real question about my how I comfortable I was sitting in my car while I'm driving. And then I realized that was wrong. That was almost strike three. Guys, he's like 38. Why would he listen to car seat headrest? I don't know. I don't know. I hope they're good. They're cool. That's a cool band, I guess. I don't know. When are you going to do modded Skyrim? Dude, you're the same age as my dad. I still fit into my medium, all right? I still fit into my medium shirt. Okay? I, I, I'm still a medium. What does that mean? I don't even know. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But... You're almost 40. That chatter is 10. Uh, is it the mature content wording? You got to click that shit. Uh, excuse me. I thought you were 45. No, I just want everybody to think I'm 45. So when they actually figure out that I'm 37, they go, Whoa, he's, oh, that's not 45. Oh, that's a lot younger than I thought. And yeah, and I get, and I win. We're 67% of the way through the stream. Uh-oh. Don't pass Germa the aux cord. <laughs> I remember we were listening to the... Yeah, give it to me, actually. Give me the aux cord. You know why? Because I would play... Like Halloween music through it. And everyone would be at the party like, Yeah, the shit! And then all of a sudden they'd hear like, <laughs> And people would be like, Who fucking did that? Who, who has the ox cord? Where are my jams? Put on the monster bash. Actually, I, I think I think any party would like to hear that. Honestly, tell me the truth, and I want ones in chat if you agree. 
if you were at a get together or a party or some like nice event or an event or something that you went to, if the monster mash came on loud, you would go like this, wouldn't you? And I know this is what I would do. I'd go, yeah, yes. Oh yeah, it was the monster mash. The mon it was a graveyard. So everyone would just start doing it. Nobody would be annoyed at that. No, it's not a Halloween party. This is at any moment of any party you've ever gone to. I think, I don't think I would trust the person that would be upset that the a Monster Mash was playing at the party. If there's somebody there like, this is stupid. What a dumb song. This is a fucking dumb song. They'd be like, well, lose my number. The Monster Mash at Christmas. I hate the Monster Mash. Why? It's this. I'm changing this because I don't want people to go like, oh, look at his hair over his eye. You wouldn't play it at a funeral. No, you wouldn't. But if, what, what, what do you, what, okay, but hold on a minute. You wouldn't, oh, you wouldn't play that at a funeral. What, what is appropriate for you to play at a funeral? That's not, yeah. You're going to play other, what other music are you playing at the funeral? That's not Monster Mash. I don't think very much music fits at a funeral besides something, you know, unless it was a special request from somebody, right? Their favorites. Yeah, that's what I mean. But okay, if the Monster Mash was their favorite song, that's actually, that, all right. That gets everybody happy, I think. If it was like, yes, and, and now we're going to thank you for those very good words, those kind words. And now, as we lower the casket, we are going to be listening to his favorite song, the Monster Mash. <laughs> and it's just like, dude, hold on, how does it go? I need to hear it. I think that would be actually pretty, I don't know, if they wanted to be there, then whatever. Monster Mash. Is it going down? Okay, that's going off. DMCA. Now, I mean, if you think, honestly, if I think about some of the all-time greatest pieces of music to ever release, this has to be somewhere in the top 500, right? This is, would you put this in the top 500 songs ever made? And I'm talking even Mozart and shit. Every piece of music ever, ever invented, ever created. Any, uh, Mozart, anybody. I think this fits in the top five. I think this is in the top 500. What do you mean no? Yes, how would it not be? You don't think that this would be in the same realm as Beethoven's like fifth symphony. It was a graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash.
Top five, five, top 500. Can we do a Beethoven listening party? <laughs> that would be strange. Would it be that strange? Be uh, do a full Beethoven listening party. Is Beethoven DMCA? No, is it? Does anybody own Beethoven's rights or something? What's the most famous Beethoven symphony? Beethoven famous song. And don't tell me that that was weird for me to write because that was literally people were writing that. That's like a huge, everyone's like typing that. Here we go. The best of Beethoven. Wait, okay, does Be is Beethoven the one that goes Is that Beethoven? That's Mozart, okay. Wait, is Beethoven the one that goes no. Who's that? Not Star Wars. That's a Bumblebee song. That's not Star Wars. That wasn't Star Wars. That was the flight of the Bumblebee. What? Hold on. Is it Star No, it's not. What did I do? This sounds like somebody desperately tried to get around the uh, tried to make it so this wasn't that song, but that's what they're doing. It sounds like the royalty-free version of that song. That you're talking about the din 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 This is the kind of shit that people would do. And I'm not saying this is actually this is an unbelievably classic, unbelievable song. Huge music history, right? I'm just saying that like you think that I was doing Star Wars when I was just doing one of the most in the top 500 songs ever made. I don't think Duel of Fates is top 500 song ever made. This should be there. Duel of Fates is not in there. This is in there. That's a bad take. I thought you hated classical music. What? I mean, I don't like... Listen... Alright, that was me saying I don't like listen to... Cla Not like I don't like classical music. I don't like listen to it. Get a comb. No, I don't have one. I'm just, wait, Beethoven. So wait, the, what about... Wait. Dun 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 dun! Dun 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 dun! That's Beethoven. All right. What's the number one most important song ever made? I don't know. What's the most important song ever made? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Well, I've I've got it already. Happy birthday is the most important. Is number one. It's the number one most important song. It's the number one song. Can you imagine a world without happy birthday? Happy birthday is the most important piece of music ever released. Actually, think about it. That song sucks. But it... Even if you think it sucks, it's still, it's probably the most important song to ever have been made. It's, th what other piece of media? Oh yeah, hold on a minute. You're telling me that Happy Birthday is not the number one single most important, important piece of media ever released musically. Let's talk about this. Right now, right now, listen to me, right now. There are probably, this is being sung right now in probably 
hundreds of thousands of locations at this very second right now, right now, someone's singing it right now. There's a birthday party going on right now, somewhere in the world. And it's being sung right now. Probably thousands of them. I don't, and how, how many places right now is Beethoven's Fifth Symphony playing? Maybe in a dentist office somewhere? How many dentist offices are open right now? I don't. I think there's more birthdays right now than dentist office currently in operating hours. I I think a happy birthday got has a has a beat. I'm telling you, this is being played in like a million locations. Let's think about this. Honestly, I really, I'm, I might be, I'm fucking a little hyped up about this, but seriously, it's Christmas time right now. I still think Happy Birthday is being sung in more locations right now than Christmas music being played in malls right now. I think so. All right, do a poll. I want one of the malls to do a poll. Is it your birthday today? Is it? Wait, there's 20,000 people here. How many people's birthdays are? Be honest, please, or I'll ban you. Is it your birthday right now? I've seen every single... Are you kidding me? Every single stream I look over here, and every 10 seconds, hey, dude, it's my birthday today. How many... Is it your birthday right now? Whose birthday is it today? All right, be, and, and let, let's assume that even half these people are lying. Let's assume that even 90% of these people are lying. If it's even 1%. And then follow-up question to this. Did you sing happy birthday today at some point? And how many people were in the room? Because the, you got probably five different locations where it was coming out. So that is an audio equipment. That's a piece of audio equipment. If there's 50 people in a room, that is 50 pieces, 50 different places it's coming out from. It's in the millions every day. It's the most important piece of music ever released. Okay, yeah, so it's a lot of people. It's at least 100 people here every day. There's other songs in non-English countries. It's probably A, B, C, D. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Are there other songs? That's right. But, but wait, hold on. But, but hold on. Wait, we're just talking in like North America. It's important. Just pre wait. It's not important. It's prevalent. I don't know. I think at some point, extreme prevalence gets to importance, right? If there are a million people right now singing Happy Birthday, it's a fairly important song. A, B, C's. Okay, how many people right now? Who who cares? We're wasting valuable percentage time on this. It's literally... It's literally the same song. <laughs> what point is he trying to make? The art, the point is, is that I think Happy Birthday is number one most important piece of music ever. And I'm being yelled at because people are saying it's ABC. But then we're also talking about not North America. I mean, just in North America. Is ABC the same song? No, it's not. A, B, C, D. Is it Happy Birthday? Happy birthday to... This is not even the right... What? This is it. Have A, B, C... This is not it. Birthday to... It's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You had it wrong. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star could be up there too because a lot of 
you know, oh, it's day, oh, it's nap time. Twinkle, twin. Is that happening more than happy birthday? You know the point I'm making, and it's in a weird way, but you get it. You all know what is happening right now. Don't give me the question marks. You all get it. You all know what's happening right now. I'm not hearing the question marks. I can't hear them. I'm not, I'm not going to listen to them. They're all the same song. We don't live in the fucking 40s. This is so many chatters first comb stream and it shows. I haven't done one of these in a long time where I just put the cam up and just do nothing and just talk at nothing. That's what these are. Just because waiters are forced to sing it at an outback doesn't mean it's important. Dude, come on. It is, but what about the person's birthday that's at the outback right now? That's not important to you? Well, I mean, I know you probably don't give a shit because you don't know this person, but that you don't think that's important in that in the in the the social scheme of the world that it's not important to that person. No, fuck them, fuck that guy. Holy shit, you guys are mean. No, fuck that guy. <laughs> Birthdays happen without the song. I'm just, I hate getting sung to at restaurants. It's so embarrassing. Who cares about birthday Bob? Well, guess what? When it's your birthday and you're at a restaurant and somebody comes over and is singing to you and all of a sudden you hear, fuck that guy. Who gives a shit about that guy? Why is that guy so important? Fuck him. Like, sorry, it's not your birthday today, other guy here. Like, relax. Why would you get mad at somebody else having a birthday? <laughs> Can I be really honest with this chat right now? Are you upset at somebody else having a birthday? You're gonna get one too. Fuck that guy. Fuck his birthday. What? He's having a birthday party. You don't, you, what are you, what are you, are you mad at a guy having a birthday party? I'm not a negative Nancy. Okay, everybody does the same thing at when this happens. Okay, you're at a restaurant, you're sitting across, or you're with some a group, and you're talking. Oh yeah, uh, and this is what everybody does, and it's fine, and whatever. Your your camera quality's ass. It's never changing. I don't care. I, I I'll, I'm gonna actually make it worse. Yeah, the more that I hear complaints. So, um, well, you just messed up my train of thought. What was it? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, happy birthday to you. Number one song. It's 500. Top 500 songs. What's the top 500? What's number one? We're at a restaurant now. Okay, the restaurant. Oh, okay. So, we're sitting at the restaurant, and there's only one minute left. We're still live. Don't worry. So, we're sitting at the restaurant, and I'm sitting across. Everybody does the same exact thing. You start going, yeah, yeah, I mean, the DLC is going to be kind of fun. What? What's, um... What you have uh you, you you have a couple kids now, don't you? And then happy birthday to you. And everyone goes, yeah. And then you just go, hey. So I mean the DLC is gonna be kind of fun. What a big deal! Oh no, you ha you got interrupted for ten seconds. They get to have a birthday party. It's time. It's not time. It's time when I, when I I'll leave when I want to leave. Why did you grunt it instead of singing it? Because I had to show you the emotional impact of when you're sitting there and it happens. Bye, Germa. Before everybody leaves, because I know somebody, I know that, but I know this community very well. Three or four thousand of you are going to leave for a joke, and it's funny. Hmm. The top 500 jokes ever made, I think. That, I don't think it makes the top 500. Uh, but, yeah, so, very important stuff. 17th, 4 p.m., the holiday extravaganza. I'm actually very excited for it. A lot of work has gone into this. It's going to be a big, fun fucking event. The awards are going to happen there. Got a ton of fun activities planned. You'll see when you see it. I'm so excited for it. 17th, 17th, with the 17th is a... 
Saturday, this Saturday, 4 p.m. Pacific. Also, vote on the poll if you haven't, if you really want to, and you're like, wait, there's a poll? There is. There's like a million questions to answer. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to, but if you want to, go ahead and vote for your favorite and least favorite things of the year. That's what we do every year here. This, no, this, we're not doing it on, on New Year's Eve anymore. When does the poll close? The poll is going to close in the next 48 hours. You understand? Does that mean Battle Axe is delayed? I don't, so I, I just made that up, but somebody said something similar to that, and I just made, I just changed it. Battle Axe is going to happen a little bit later on next year. Early next year. The fog is coming. No, I'm good. We're good. I, I, I told you one to two hours. I didn't say one hour even. Nice bong hit voice. <laughs> Exclamation point awards if you want to see it pop up in the chat. Also, make sure that you type in exclamation point awards to find yourself going up against a cool poll. It's there and it's exciting and it's ready to go. Also, make sure to tune in on the 17th at 4 p.m. Tons of activities, potential things that are fun, and let's get to it. All right, let's go. Scripted Sally. Yeah, you got another couple days. That's my favorite news broadcast. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> we got a lot of... Uh, no, I'm not going to say anything. Because I know what happens if I say something. I'm just kind of reading now. I'm just reading the chat. I'm just sitting here going. Add a laugh track to your streams. I think we did that a while back. It was funny for a little bit. When are you going to do more Breath of the Wild? Um, I don't know. At some point after the holidays. There's been a lot of stuff going on. It's tons of... I feel like I've been... The last few months, especially, I've just kind of been like back and forth, back and forth, doing all kinds of stuff, moving all over the place, tons of meetings and, oh, meeting Andy, business Andy. I know, but still, like it's been, there's been a lot going on. So after the holidays, we'll get back to it. What do you say? Are you going to play Frog Detective 3? I was going to play Frog Detective 3 last week, but I just didn't have time for it. Something else had to take its place. He's very sassy today. I think I'm just excited. Um, every time we do the awards, it's exciting. I don't know. It's just fun. It's just, it's just, it's going to be like a fun time. I just, that's what I know because it always is. So it's fun to get excited about stuff. Sorry, I'm getting excited about stuff. Your hair looks weird. I, I let me. Oh, that's probably why. Ooh. Can you please punch the whole three drywall? Why would I do that? I would like. I I want to know one reason for me to do that. Like, why would I do that? Because it'd be funny. Would it though? Like, would that would that be funny to you? I mean, maybe, but then there's just a hole in my wall and I have to deal with it. I don't want a hole in my wall. Find out what's behind it. It's dust and insulation. Go wash your hair. My hair is clean. People, it's just this, hold on, let me see. It's this piece here that people get so upset about. It's this thing right here. 
What if I just turn the stream on next and this was just shaved off, gone? No, I like it, and it's staying. So that's what's staying. Shave your head. I, you know what? I'm actually terrified. I am terrified of eventually when I have to have a bald head, if it ever happens, I try to get enough sleep. I try to drink, you know, green tea. Green tea is really good for your hair. If you didn't know, um, green tea is a, it has a, a compound in it that's really, it's good for your, your scalp and it's good for your hair uh, growing and, and maintaining. Uh, it's good for you. And when this goes, I'm going to look fucking weird. I'm going to look strange with a bald head. If I ever have to have a bald head, I hope it never happens. Herbal Remedy Andy. Green tea is good for you. I'm pretty sure that that's been the case for the last few thousand years. I think... What do you mean? Herbal Remedy Andy. Green... I didn't tell you. I just said green tea is good for you. Which it is. If I told you to eat an apple today, would you go, oh, apple Remedy Andy. Apples are good for you. They're just... They're of... They are a fruit, and they are a good part of a diet that a balanced diet. He's selling us essential oils. I've said Andy a lot today. Do you notice that? I would do anything you tell me. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Really? Okay. <clears throat> Make sure you drink enough water. Make sure you drink enough water. Make sure you get enough sleep. Try to incorporate some more um, active activities in your life. I'm not talking like, you know, you go work out of the gym every single day. You know, every so often take a walk, right? Just take a walk, get yourself active, drink a little bit more water. Um, try to get more sleep if you can. There you go. Yeah, that's, do it. Do that. I'll do anything except those things specifically. Okay, fine. Um, hey, here you go. If you haven't been in a, in a while, go get a go get a checkup at the doctor, right? Just go check. Just go get a physical. How am I doing? How how's it going here? How's my body doing? Go go get a physical. Go to the dentist. Go check on your mug. Maybe go check and see how things are going up there, right? No, I can't do that. No, I won't do that either. Okay. Um, start moisturizing your face. Start moisturizing your face. Just a little bit out of the shower and just like here. Let me show you where we do it. Nothing, nothing with a bunch of junk in it, right? Just a nice quality. You don't have to spend that much money on this stuff. And it's just face moisturizer, especially for those people in a dry environment. It's just a little bit. You don't need much. Nice cir circles here, here, down the nose, on the chin, down the neck. Moisturize. Okay. No, I'm not doing that either. I'm not, I, I, I don't do that. I'll do, I'll do anything but that too. Okay. What's my morning routine? It's actually pretty simple. Are you ready? This is not medical advice. This is very just what I personally do. But that, what I'm going to tell you is not medical advice anyways. I get up in the morning, whenever that is, and I grab my phone. It's usually kind of, it's usually next to me here. I grab my phone with one eye open and I go, I just kind of scroll for about 10 minutes. Eventually, I open the other eye and everything is blurry and it sucks. 
it's like I'm seeing double vision because I had this eye closed for too long because I'm kind of just like still half asleep. Uh, so I let that, you know, you don't don't do that shit. It's like kind of sucks. Uh, eventually, I get awake. I get out of bed. I go downstairs. I get my robe on. I tie it down. I then I then get in my elevator, and I go up uh, four or five floors, and I go to my my coffee station. And then uh, once I get up there, I obviously thank the the other uh, the other people that are um, in the. <laughs> I couldn't keep going with it. I couldn't. Get, I tr I tried. It was just it was too much. Anyway, I was gonna talk about like I have like yeah like a Scrooge McDuck house. <laughs> Tony Soprano. No, I wake up. I drink coffee. After I drink coffee, I have to, I always try to drink, I drink a coffee, listen, I, you go to the bathroom every morning. If I don't drink my morning coffee, I, it's over. The whole day is ruined. Everything is ruined. Not because, oh, I need my morning coffee because I don't, I need to wake up. No, that's not what it's for. My morning coffee has nothing to do with caffeine. Nothing. Nothing. Zero. It's only to make sure that I can take a shit. Because it's nothing worse than starting your day and you get halfway through the day and you still haven't, it's, it hasn't happened yet. And it ruins the entire day. I cannot operate until I have my morning coffee shit. It ha it's every day. If I do not have that routine, the day is ruined. Ruined. I have gone to places before, some events, some things, some, you know, family get-togethers where, oh, all right, we're, we're, we're meeting up at this place, so we're doing this at 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. And where's my coffee? Uh-oh. I need coffee. I need my coffee in the morning, and I have to wait until it happens. So, oh, it's a big deal. So you, I drink my morning coffee, I go to the bathroom, and then I'm ready to start the day. Then I take a, I take a shower, you know, quick shower, doesn't need to be too long, just enough to, you know, wash my hair, put a little conditioner in, clean off, and then after, it's because you're addicted to caffeine. I don't, I don't care whatever you're saying. I'm just telling you, it's, this has been like 20 straight years, okay? So, people, the viewers are leaving. I don't, whatever. So, I end up, after I have my coffee, after I have my morning coffee shit, I take a shower, I get out, dry off, um, I moisturize after it's dry, after my armpits are dry, I uh, put on some deodorant, and then I put some clothes on and let's go. End the stream now. Shut up. How's that sound? How's that sound? Did you do a cheese tier list? <laughs> That's I like. I'm sassy. I am not sassy. You, okay. Mm -mm. Nope. It's saying, we, we, I ain't taking this today. You can't say. You, all right. If you, if you just, hey, end the stream. End the stream, loser. Hey, how about you shut up? <gasps> what did you, hey, what did you say to me? Hey, that's not a lot. Hey, that's not fair. Everybody get him. That's not how it works. Hey, you can't yell at me and then I, and I respond to you yelling and it's like, hey, <gasps> you, what did you say to me? It's like, oh, hey, I'm just walking down the street and somebody like, oh, what the? And they go, yeah. And then I grab them and they go, hey, hey, what's happening? Let go of me. Hey, don't, no, hey, I don't want any trouble with you. Excuse me? 
Uh huh. What are you talking about? GTA NPC. What do you mean 1950s NPC? What does that even mean? GTA NPC? NPC interaction. What do these mean? He's inventing scenarios. No, I'm just telling you, I'm making a point that if somebody like, if somebody screams at you, well, okay, let me, well, you didn't scream, but still, you said a comment that I'm replying to it. But, all right, so it's like, you ready? Here we go. <clears throat> this is, this is what you like me to do. Fuck you. Dork. Eat shit. Loser. Fuck you. Dork, eat shit. Fuck you, loser. Dork, eat fuck shit. Fuck you, loser. Dork, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Pipsqueak is better. Hit <laughs> dork one more time. Okay. Eat shit. That's not it. Loser, fuck you. The one that I deleted. I don't have it anymore. Hold on. This is what? This guy's going off the deep end. I'm, I'm proving a point. You never been to a comb stream before, whatever. In GTA, the NPCs will sometimes randomly insult you, and in the newer games, you can insult back, but it just makes the NPCs fight you. <laughs> That's true, I forgot about that. <laughs> That's actually funny. Yeah, it's like, hey, get away from me, you fucking loser. Hey, fuck you! What's that? <laughs> you should stop swearing. I actually had this conversation with myself recently. I'm not kidding. I, I, I want to stop. I want to bring my swear words down. I say too many swear words, I think. I'm a, I swear. And I want to do a little less swearing. But it's never going to happen. I say this every year. This is my New Year's resolution. You have a potty mouth. It's your only redeeming quality that I swear. Weird. I remember in GTA 5, I would just be standing, and for some reason, that made an NPC get pissed off and fight me. Oh, yeah. So if, if there's, like, a, uh, an NPC just standing there, and you stand, like, here, sometimes they'll just go. <laughs> they'll just come after you. What did you say? You look what? Your room looks like a liminal space. Huh. Your room looks like a Gmod map. What are you talking about? You look like you're in front of a green screen. I can't believe there was a dick over here earlier. I cannot believe that. It was that was that was something. Well, not uh, I, there, it was. Uh, it, uh, it was your first conference stream, okay? That no, that is, means nothing. It's just that over. You weren't here earlier, is what I should have said. <laughs> you weren't here earlier, which is what I should have just said, but that's not what I said. There was a dick over here, a, a, a fake one, and not no. There was a, 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 a somebody explain it, please, before I look. I, I'm going crazy. Can somebody help me? Please, somebody help me here. I need somebody help me in a, a mod or somebody in chat. Clear the chat. Clear the chat, and somebody explain it. There, a light was on there up here, and it was in the shape of a whatever. Somebody help me. Mm. 
No health. Look into liminal spaces. Okay. So, um, I think that's it. It looks like you're in front of a green screen. It's just because, I don't know, it's bad. It's like a shitty lit room. Can you raise an eyebrow and stare into the camera? No, I don't feel like it. All right. We are at, and this is only going to be a short. I just wanted to come in, uh, come over here and just hype up the holiday stream. This weekend, again, vote on the poll. And it, wait, wait, there's other important stuff that I forgot to talk about. Hold on. How quickly can I get through some of these? I'll talk about it later. Because, uh, I got some stuff I have to take care of. Please sing the Family Guy theme before you leave. No. Oh, um, okay. Grotto Beasts. Grotto Beasts. If we can get a link, it's coming soon. It's coming very soon. Grotto Beasts is almost upon us. Keep an eye on the Twitter. The Grotto Beasts are being teased on Twitter every uh, so often if you want to see some of the characters that are in this game. It's a full trading card game, by the way. Go check it out. Grotto Beasts. Grotto Beasts. What else should I do? Because I know I'm not going to be around for another a while before the stream. Um, what else? Something else. There's got to be something else I can talk about for the next two seconds. Oh, vote on the poll. The end of the year awards. It's not, a, a, not a lot of people think it's just, um, dude, the Yonkies Plinky. Holy shit. What does it mean? What is this? What is this? Hey, germans, Tom Kenny, the voice of SpongeBob. Look at these crazy fish I found swimming around in India. Uh, I just want to say, your streams are awesome. Gary <laughs> loves them too. Uh, That's a sweet hit. Yeah. Uh, I, I loved that every second of it. Wow. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what to say. That was like really cool. I'm going to cry. No, that uh, that's Tom Kenny, by the way, voice of SpongeBob, probably. All right, you want to do like, you want to do top 500 of voice actors to ever live? Uh, that's close to one. Very close, very close to number one. That's in the probably the top 10 at least. Tom Kenny, uh, absolute legend. What else? I wonder what that list would look like. There's a lot of people that could be on that list. All right. All right. Well, okay. The awards. December 17th. Keep an eye on the Twitter. There's going to be a big tweet. There's going to be a big tweet. Marketing Andy coming through here. Big tweet coming in this, uh, this afternoon, this evening. Awards this weekend. Vote on the poll if you haven't. 27 categories, tons of activities, an entire extravaganza, all evening, 4 p.m. Pacific, this weekend, right here, right here. All right, bye. See you this weekend, guys. Seriously, thanks for watching. I didn't even talk about the chat. What happened? I didn't talk about chess boxing. How that was one of the most unbelievable experiences of my entire life. I didn't even talk about it. I said one comment about how my hair was electrified. Shit. Oh my god. I had like a whole I was gonna talk about it. I was gonna talk about a whole thing. There was alright, let me do let me I got I got a little bit of time. Let me go through this really quickly. 
Uh, there was a period. So the, the event was unbelievable, first of all, right? Ludwig, just absolutely legendary status. I, when he's like, hey, do you want to do this? Do you want to come on and do that? It's just like, of course I do, dude. Of course I fucking do. Um, so much fun. The air in that arena was just so, the energy was awesome. Um, it was an unbelievable time. But something else that, that happened that it was, um, I don't know. I just want to say it very quickly. After the event, it was over and people were kind of leaving. There was a lot of people that came up to me after the event. And we're like, hey, uh, can you like sign this? Can we take a picture or whatever? And it was a, it was a lot of people, and I just I, I may there may have been some people that I missed just because there was people had to get um, kind of trickle out and everything. So and there were lots and lots of people. So I just want to say to those of you that came up to me and saying like, hey, thanks for the streams and stuff. I I, I don't even know what to say. It was it was inc it was incredible experience. Um, I just hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, which it seems like a lot of people did, which is that makes me feel good because that means that people liked the show because that's really all I care about at the end of the day is did people enjoy what I did? I hope they do. Um, that goes through my mind every single time. Whenever I'm sitting there, and I told you this before the baseball show too, I was when the first strike call came in, I was like, I fucking hope this is fun. I really do. Hope the Christmas stream is really fun too, which I think it would be. So... For those of you that didn't, there was a lot of people that they were ma they, had, they were making leave because they were like, everyone's got to go, everyone's got to go. Um, I I appreciate it. I Hopefully I could wave to some of you. Uh, there were hundreds and hundreds of people there uh, in the audience. So, and if, I don't know, I think there was a, if, a few thousand because of the seats. So thanks for showing up. Ludwig obviously appreciates it. He put on an unbelievable hell of, a, hell of an event. Um, which, and then obviously JK Productions, which... Hey, there, look at that. Community Jake. It's it's really just cool to see that just shit that me and Jake five years ago doing the carnival shit and fucking around and look at the space now. Look at what like Jake is doing now. He's done so many cool fucking things with so many awesome streamers and not just Jake, not just Jake's company. The other companies too. There's other production companies that are coming up here and doing all kinds of awesome stuff. I it's awesome. I I, I love to see it, and uh, I am happy to participate. Seriously. And you'll see this weekend some other fun stuff. Okay. All right. I I said what I want. All right, there you go. There's like in a nutshell. It was an unbelievable experience. I'll never forget it. Okay, I'll see you. I'll see you uh, on. I'll see you on Saturday. Saturday, four p.m. Uh, can I get a quick? Uh, let's go before I get uh, before I go. There we are. All right, there you go. I, I don't. I'm, I don't think I'm really gonna do an outro. Well, actually, why not? We're here. Thanks for sticking around. This is a quick one uh, before we do the big uh, holiday stream. Four PM Pacific time. Uh, there'll be a tweet too. You'll see it. I think uh, people are gonna like the image that goes with it. Stop demanding stuff from us. And then I will say, because I don't know if I'll have time to say it at the end of that stream, but after the Christmas stream, after the big holiday extravaganza, um, I will be taking a, a break for the holidays. So you'll see me again um, into the new year. There will probably be an opportunity at some point the week after, before... Christmas time for me to do a couple streams, possibly. So we'll see. We'll come back in the new year, if not. But I, I imagine there'll be another couple streams before the end of the year. Holiday break, Andy.
Will you please play God of War Ragnarok? Um, I don't know, maybe. But I, I, let me end on this. Uh, stuff like the chess boxing thing makes me realize a lot of times that I'm in a position that's incredibly fortunate and sometimes a little overwhelming. And I'm just, I just really hope that you guys can continue to have fun here. That's all I care about. And sometimes it can be a little overwhelming, but Thanks for being here, and thanks for watching, thanks for being around as long as a lot of you have. Um, I, that's pretty much, I, I, it's hard for me to kind of put into words some of this stuff. But, especially after that event, it was just, like, holy shit, that was fun, and that was cool. But it makes me think a lot, like, that, to be in that spot, to actually be able to do that, I'm very lucky. I have a lot of fucking people over the course of my life here that have supported me and a lot of other streamers that have shown a lot of support and a lot of everybody here too and I just I just don't know what to say besides thank you. It's It's been a, it's been a ride. Um and I don't know how to put it into words besides that. So I appreciate it. I'll see you guys on Saturday. Goodbye. See you soon. Saturday at 4 p.m. Pacific. All right, bye. Yeah, and, and call your mother. Mm -hmm.